Hi, I'm Craig the Pool Guy with Pool Specialist. Today we are going to instruct you on how to program a Pentair Superflow VS pump. This is one of the most efficient pumps on the market today and it can significantly decrease your energy bill in comparison to a standard single phase pump. If you forget how to program the pump, Pentair has placed the instructions on how to program the pump on the back side of the lid. When you first turn power on to the pump, the display is going to flash with the time. If you hold and depress the display key for three to five seconds, it will give you the option of 12 hour mode or 24 hour mode. Personally, I prefer 12 hour mode. If you depress the display key once again, it's going to give you the time setup. You hit the plus button or the minus button to increase or decrease the time. If you hold it down, it will start speeding up and allow you to increment much faster. So if we set our time to 12 p.m. and then hit the display key one more time, this displays the screen contrast. Personally, I would leave it at 100%. It works out well in the bright sunlight and even in the dim hours of the morning or the evening. From this point, we're going to start programming the speeds of the pump. We depress, we're going to program speed one first. We depress that and you'll notice that it will display the speed of 3000 RPMs. We can change that up, change that down. After that, we depress it one more time and it says it's going to start at 8 a.m. We can change that time by pressing the up key or the down key. We'll go ahead and leave it at 8 a.m. Press the one key once again and it gives you the duration. Here we have a duration of 10 hours, which works out fine. That's going to be for our high speed. Next, we're going to set up our next speed, which is speed number two. Here we have a speed of 1600. This is something you're going to use to circulate in the middle of the day. Just keep the water flowing. I would increase the speed until you find that your flow light on your salt system turns green and then go another 200 RPMs beyond that. So we can increase this to say 1800 RPMs. Next we'll depress it again and we set our duration. If we leave this duration at 10 hours then we have 10 hours left. If we come to speed 3 we can program this speed again for something separately. So we set this speed say to 2200 and now we press the 3 key again. We come up with the duration and we have 4 hours left. We have 10 hours on speed 1, 10 hours on speed 2, and 4 hours on speed 3. I would recommend running this pump for 24 hours a day. If you set it to one of the lower speeds you'll find that it pulls no more than about a 60 watt light bulb. This is a very efficient pump. And this will keep your pool circulating, keep your salt system running, keep everything nice and clear in your pool. When you get into the winter and you have to start dealing with freeze protect, if you're not running it for 24 hours and you're below freezing for 24 hours, the pump will shut off. So you need to keep that in mind when you're setting the pump up. If you don't run it 24 hours, put a note in your calendar and make sure that you go ahead and set that once you start getting into the winter months where you may see freezing weather. I hope that has been helpful and thank you for watching our video. And if you have any questions, please visit our website or give us a call here at Pool Specialists. Have a great day.